You marry Lynn. Too well. You need to like back it up. No. Yes, because your whole face is like right at the corner. What corner? So like you see the top right here? Mm -hmm. Your forehead is right there. And today I'm also very excited because I'm going to be using um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette which is um, a palette that I really dreaded on getting but um, I recently got it and um, I'm so happy. I don't know why I didn't get it before. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and... Um, so Hold on, let me slow down. So my eye is ready to go. It has concealer um, and it has already been set with um, translucent powder. So I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush. This is my favorite one for Makeup Forever. It's just a very basic fluffy brush that's great for blending um, transitional shades. And then I'm going to take the shade called Pure. Pure Eyeshadow. I'm going to take that into the little brush. And we're going to use this as our transitional shade. So literally apply it right into the crease. And for those of you ladies that don't know where the crease is at, um, because some people don't have a defined crease, so what you can do is take your brush and literally poke your eye until you see that little indentation, and that's where you want to focus the product, so you sort of create the illusion that you have a more, a more uh, visible crease. I did also went into the color Charmed, I'm Sure, which is this brown color right over here, if you can see it. Now I'm going to go in with the color Take It Slow and this is just like one of their singular eyeshadows that I have from them. It looks like this. It's basically like a champagne-y uh, shimmery eyeshadow. So I'm going to take that right where I didn't apply any eyeshadow directly onto the lid. Um, Karen actually had an eyeshadow that was a little more um, silvery. So I went in with this really cool product that I'm really happy that I purchased. Um, this is the ColourPop uh, Luster, Dusk, Luster Dust Highlighters. To get the intensity that I want, I'm going to also take my Fix Plus and I'm going to soak my brush directly onto the eyelid right on top of that eyeshadow that I already put. Now for the fun part, we're going to go in with Liquid Eyeliner. eyeliner and of course, I'm going to be using my Sephora High Precision Eyeliner. Okay, we're gonna go on with the um, with the body glitter liquid crystal body liner from NYX, uh, and it's literally a li a little liner, uh, just like the liquid liner but in a glitter form. For eyelashes, you can put any style of eyelashes that you want. If you don't want to wear any eyelashes, feel free to just add layers and layers of mascara so that you have that intensity. I want to have lashes on, so I'm just going to put on ones that I have over here. I have a little storage box that I have of lashes that I used before. I've only used them once, and I don't want to throw them out, so I just put them here. I don't know what the name of these lashes are, but I'm pretty sure these are um, Christina eyelashes that I got from Amazon. They look like this. I do not know the style. But I know that they're definitely affordable. It can be, it can be any style of eyelashes that you like. You guys, the way that I did my concealer and my contour and my highlight, but technology was just not being nice to me, and it didn't come out right, and the battery died. And then I was too bright. But anyways, I did contour my highlight. Um, I used the Wet n Wild. This is from the collection of the Midnight Mermaid, something like that. But it looks like this. It has like a little um, mermaid tail kind of thing. Like a mermaid thing, kind uh, mermaid, you know, like the scales or whatever, like a fish. 
Um, and it looks really nice. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks nice. But I did use a little bit on the inner corner just because um, I just wanted it to be like nice and brightened. Okay, to finish the, the look, I'm going to be going in with the red lipstick. I'm going to take the Sephora Nano uh, Lip Liner, and this is in the color number four deep ruby and then of course i'm going to be going with um the i love sarai and color pop collaboration um this is obviously the lipstick that she used on her look so i'm very excited that i can use the same lip color what i also love about red lipstick is that it looks very different on every kind of complexion um it looks beautiful it really accentuates um the feminine side of you so that's what i love about a red lipstick but i also love that it looks different on every single complexion so it's going to look different than the way that it looks on her because she's lighter skin and it's going to look different on me because i'm a little more on the tan side but either way it looks amazing so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to take my liner and i'm just going to add a little bit just to add a little definition I think this is my new favorite red lipstick. Remember that time when I said that the Sephora Always Red it was my favorite red lipstick? Well, I think I found a replacement for that and uh, the replacement is $6. Oh yeah. Guys, this is the final look. This is the final look. Um, I encourage everyone to try it if you try it either for Christmas or also try it for New Year's so you have a very beautiful look to do. You can also um, feel free to change the lip color. You can do it with a nude lip color just like um, Karen suggested in her video as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up to let me know that you guys like this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!